Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, JPM.Cuisine. Today for you, we've got a new unboxing here of the Dow Strong cookware, as you can already see, as you could have read from the title. This right here is the Oberon 12 inch nonstick straight frying pan, otherwise known as a skillet. All right, and so this one comes in at $109 or $110 uh, on the website. It's uh, three ply, we're looking at an aluminum core. Um, it's an Eterna nonstick, which is made by a company called Whitford, I believe in the United States. Um, so there's like Teflon and all these different types of nonstick. Typically, I think we've seen the Eterna used in some Cuisinart type uh, frying pans. And so we've got it here in the Daustrong Oberon line. Um, and uh, again, it's 1810 stainless. So if you've seen my channel before, I don't do very many cookware uh, reviews, even though that's what this channel is designed for. Uh, I have done some black steel or, or carbon steel pans, um, the Matt for Bourget. And so um, I hope to do more for them or, or not for them. I hope to do more uh, reviews of cooking ware as well, not just knives, but you know, we love to do the knives here. So just try to give you guys a variety. This is just gonna be an unboxing. I haven't used it. I haven't even seen what's in here. Uh, Dow Strong sent it to me uh, to take a look at, and I don't believe there's very many uh, reviews or, or uh, videos online. And so we'll be one of the first channels to get the content out to you. So as you can tell, uh, it already comes packaged really nicely in a big box, and that's usually good because Amazon, if you order from them, uh, not just Amazon, but whoever the shipper is, sometimes will destroy the boxes, and so these things are typically protected very well. Before we get into that, I want you guys to look at my Titan board that I just finished yesterday. And so this is the one from the cleaver test. It still has some battle scarring. Uh, they're pretty smooth. Um, those are very deep. But I took off, you know, a couple layers um, using a, uh, what is it, a belt sander going from 80 to 400 grit. And now she's back in action. Next time I do something like that, I'll do it on the back side. But here's the battle scars and they're smooth. So this thing is back in action in case you guys were wondering if I ruined a board. Um, if you have a sander, you can fix any board um, as long as it's made well and the glue's not showing. But you'll also find some impurities when you're... Uh, when you're sanding. So just be aware of that. You may have to go a few layers deeper than you anticipated. All right, let's open this box up. It's huge guys. By the way, when these ship out, they come in huge, huge, huge boxes. So let's go ahead and see if we can slide it out. Wow. So just want to show you guys that it comes in this sort of a parchment type paper, a uh, very elaborate gonna have some people complain about that. Some people are gonna love it, whatever, uh, to each their own. And so I know that, oh, I got it upside down. Let me flip it around. I can tell because the lid is on the other side. And so I'm gonna pull it out like this. All right, I'm gonna keep that box because I love their boxes. All right. And so, ooh, it's got some paper. Are you one of the people that save wrapping or do you tear it open? I'm one of those people that save wrapping as you guys can already tell, but. <laughs> they, they have made the wrapping for people like us. All right, ooh, so we've got the Oberon lid uh, in a bag. Some nice padding in there, like a little felt type uh, liner. These are glass lids from what I read online. Um, and so Dow Strong has made their way into the, um, into the cookware line. And so that's interesting. Nice little bags. I use these to go to the gym. I don't necessarily know if I use this one. It looks a little small, but, uh, the kids love them and do all kinds of stuff with those bags. So I like them. All right. Let's throw this away. Man, Dow Strong's packaging game is like no other. I haven't worked with very many companies that focus this much on uh, their packaging game. So um, I'm in the cookware line. So that's pretty nice. It's protected. Again, I usually, I wonder if it's because they work with me and I'm the guy who always has the problems with um, the packaging where the boxes get damaged. And so they're really stepping up on that. Oh, 
Here we go. All right. Move all this out of the way. I think that's it. Okay. Yes. And so we have the Eterna logo here. Uh, and it is from Whitford. And so we've got the 12-inch. Beautiful. This is gorgeous. Um, bottom. And so um, I do use a lot of cast iron and carbon steel when I cook. But not for everything. As you guys know, acid-based uh, foods. Acid-based. <laughs> Foods that have generally have a, a lot of acid in them uh, as the base sort of foundation is typically going to do a number on your seasoning. And so having something like nonstick um, or uh, stainless is uh, my ideal dish for sauces and things of that nature. And so uh, just from the logo here, we can see that uh, it's got the aluminum core. It's built for, uh, I don't know what that symbol means. I'll look it up. It's oven ready. You can use it in the oven. Uh, looks like induction. Uh, we've got like glass top. We've got electric, and we've got uh, gas. And so this is 12-inch skillet. And so we've got the nonstick lining, good handle, uh, metal. Whenever you're buying a, a frying pan or anything, especially if you plan on doing any kind of high searing, so if you're cooking a steak or something like that, um, I generally go for metal handles because they can go into the oven uh, without causing any kind of warping or melting, of course. Some uh, fiberglass or plastic-based handles can go at higher temps, but not typically like 500. And so when I'm trying to finish a steak uh, after I get a good sear, I'll go for a 500 degree um, uh, uh, finish in the oven just to get it, uh, to get the final cooking on it. And so, man, this is really nice. Let's check the fit on the lid. And so it's very nice. We've got the Daoshan logo, got a little vent, a steam vent, um, but it's nice and heavy. Um, the handle is a square style handle. And so um, it's comfortable in the hand. It doesn't have any kind of finger grooves or anything like that on it, but man, it feels really nice. And I think they come in either uh, black or they come in the silver. And so when they asked me, I told them I wanted the silver. Uh, this is typically what I use, but uh, whenever I cook on um, uh, on gas, because my stove is gas, uh, I tend tend to get some marring on the sides or some sort of soot that builds up on the sides, depending on what I'm cooking. But um, I can use this outside on my burner. I have a natural gas burner that I use for turkey frying, and sometimes it's nice to cook outside. Uh, but with this, you know, you could probably do some good fried chicken in here. I don't know how the Teflon will hold up to um, some sort of deep frying, but I typically uh, will. We'll give it a try and see how it handles. Um, cast iron is usually what I go for that, and just because it kind of retains the heat well, but um, this one looks pretty stout and it's large enough. Uh, definitely will make sauces in here. Um, cooking fish in here. Uh, that's one of the issues that I had with my carbon steel pans, is if you try to cook fish, you're gonna find out that it will tend to have a fishy flavor and you'll have to wash it out. And so you'll have to reseason after that. And so it can be a chore if you just wanted to cook something like some fish, uh, you've got like a, some fillets that you wanna cook up really quickly. It's not very, uh, uh, a very efficient process using a carbon steel pan, uh, just because of the afterward. But usually anything else you wanna cook in a carbon steel won't leave any kind of uh, smell or, or fishy taste or anything like that. And so it'll uh, aftertaste really. All right, well, Dow Strong, so far so good. It looks really good. I like the rivets on it. Um, looks like a very decent pan here. Uh, I'm gonna give it a try, probably post some pictures. If you guys are watching my channel, just know that I post uh, some pictures uh, in the community. And so I'll post updates there regularly, especially uh, if I've been gone for a while. So just keep an eye out for that. And uh, I'll show you guys what we do here. Again, I'll probably cook with this on my Instagram. And so you'll see that as well. Um, Instagram is the same as my YouTube. It's uh, the jpm.cuisine. And so you can follow me on Instagram or it's food by jpm, I think. And so it's the same thing. You can find me uh, if you wanna follow and see what stuff I do. But yeah, Daoshang, thanks a lot for sending this out. Um, so far, it feels very comfortable. It looks really good. Uh, feels solid. Uh, I love the packaging. Um, but it looks like a, a really decent set. I've got another one that I'll check out here in a little bit. So stay tuned for that video. But um, until the next time, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you soon.